What's up everyone? My name is Dora. Welcome to my channel. I just want to let you guys know I am on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, ooh, and Pinterest. So don't forget to look those up. Today I'm showing you how to make foaming bath butter whipped soap. All you do is whip it until it's light and fluffy. You can make whipped soap, sugar scrub, shaving soap, soap frosting, body conditioner, body mousse, souffle, or meringue. The options are endless. Either way, this stuff is amazing and it creates an abundance of suds, foam, and lather. There are a few things that you need to keep in mind. The base already comes preserved. You only have to add a preservative for additional wet ingredients. The base is finished once it's whipped, meaning all additional ingredients are completely optional and not necessary. The three most common additional ingredients include carrier oil or melted butter. You can add up to 12.5%. Just remember to allow melted butter to cool before adding it so that it doesn't interfere with the preservative. Fragrance oil. You can add up to 5% fragrance oil. And of course, the exfoliant. While this isn't necessary, I like to add it because it feels great. You can add up to 60%, but 50% is recommended. You can use a base that's pre-made, just cut it up into smaller chunks for easier whipping. Or you can use a homemade base made from scratch. For that tutorial, click the icon. Sanitize your workspace and utensils. You can use alcohol or a 5% bleach solution. I'm using 16 ounces of base. Whip it until it's soft and creamy. Then slowly start to add additional wet ingredients. I'm using a bamboo and orchid scent. It has notes of clean, fresh, and ozone with a delicate, sweet floral top note. It basically smells like a spa. Remember to scrape the bowl periodically. Once wet ingredients are added, whip the base on medium-high for about 10 minutes. Now slowly add the exfoliant and whip it until it's fully incorporated. At this point, the base should be light and fluffy with very stiff peaks. Test the soap and make sure it feels right. Once you're satisfied, move on to the next step. You can add any type of colorant that you want. I'm using color powder. For that tutorial, click the icon. Always do a test run before filling the piping bag. 
Add a bit of each color to the bag for multiple colored swirls. I recommend clear cups with dome lids to display the whipped soap and all those beautiful frills. Use a large tip for piping. For decoration, I'm using Purple Illusion and Cotton Candy Eco Glitter. I am going to link them with a promo code in the description. You do not need a lot. A little goes a long way. Apply the soap to wet skin. The first thing you notice is a light exfoliation. Add a bit of water and watch as an abundance of foam and lather appear. This goes on forever, so I'm just going to speed it up. This one was left uncovered for a few days because the top wouldn't fit, but it worked just like the other ones. The whip soap will remain soft, whipped up in position and ready to go, but it will never get like fully hard. Many companies sell the base. This one's from Wholesale Supplies Plus. I was hesitant to use it because it's not hard like other bases I've tried. It whipped up nicely in a short amount of time, but then all of a sudden it went limp and then became even more sloppy. I tried saving it by adding my hard homemade base, but that didn't work. So I added color, more sugar, and left it on my counter overnight to dry it out. I tried it the next day and it was good. It worked just like the other base. 